Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about XRP. I know, your guys' favorite altcoin to talk about. I'm just kidding, most people don't like to talk about XRP, but we're gonna talk about it today because the charts are telling us some major, major info that we need to know. If that sounds good to you, make sure you scrap that subscribe button down below. But now let's jump right on into the video. As we jump right on in to the little bit shorter time frame chart to start today, guys, for XRP, we can see that XRP broke out of that um, kind of descending resistance that was holding it down. It was kind of in this descending um, wedge pattern, which is usually a bullish pattern and it actually did break out bullish this time, which is great to see uh, for XRP because XRP has been in the downtrend for a very, very long time. Um, as we can see, we did break this red resistance, which was holding us down um, ever since about the end of April, guys. Uh, as you can see, we broke out of this. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually came back down and tested the top of this descending wedge. Um, we've got, we kind of got to see what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin starts breaking back up towards to $10,000, we're going to see the altcoins kind of fall away because that's usually what we see um, in this crypto market. We usually see the altcoins follow Bitcoin. So I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin takes a dip and we actually come back down and test this red resistance line at about the 18 uh, 5 cent mark. So don't be surprised to see that happen. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if we came up and tested uh, this resistance um, up here of around 23 cents. Um, could be bullish, could be bearish right now. No one really knows. You just kind of have to do the best analysis and be prepared for any option that could happen in the shorter term time frame. Uh, the next chart I want to jump into is actually um, you know the support and resistance lines. You guys know I love that. I love to see XRP creating uh, old resistance as new support and then continuing up. As we can see, we broke this red resistance line um, here, which was the old support. Uh, and then we ended up breaking through it, coming back down to this new support line, coming back up and actually breaking right through that support, not even consolidating right under it. It actually broke straight through it, which is great to see. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, we hit this next resistance almost perfectly, we almost worked right up to it, a little bit below than that, but um, almost good to see. Uh, this next red resistance line was a little consolidation here, um, support here, and uh, resistance here. We hit it almost perfectly. Now we're coming back down. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, kind of correlates with the last thing we were just looking at. Wouldn't be surprised if we came back down and tested, you know, about the, about the 18 or 19 cent mark which was the old resistance here, confirming the old resistance as new support, which is very, very important in a bull market if we're truly in a bull market, guys. Um, that's what I kind of want to look at here as far as support and resistance goes. Um, the third chart that I want to look at today for XRP is actually uh, the longer time frame. Um, in all honesty, guys, nothing's really going to change with XRP until we break out of this um, kind of long-term descending wedge pattern, which in the shorter term, we all know that it broke upwards because it's usually a bullish pattern. Uh, it's, we're, we're in the kind of the same exact thing in the longer time frame, which is why I'm extremely bullish for XRP because I think once we actually break out of this descending wedge, um, we could be seeing absolutely crazy, crazy numbers because XRP um, is very, very low comparative to its all-time high compared to the other altcoins, which have already started to pop off. XRP is just kind of starting. Um, yeah, in all honesty, until we break out of the ascending wedge, nothing crazy is gonna happen. We could come up all the way up and test this red resistance line and come back down and test uh, this green line to support again, kind of bounce around here until we finally break up or down. We will see what kind of happens, but I'm leaning towards um, going up because this pattern is usually a bullish pattern as I said before. Now, um, we're gonna obviously, majorly depends on what Bitcoin does. Once again, I always bring that up because, because what Bitcoin does is ultimately what matters in the cryptocurrency market. Um, and Ethereum, um, Ethereum usually leads the altcoins. Um, you know, Bitcoin usually leads it, Ethereum does its thing, and then the altcoins follow suit. Um, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin dominance next and kind of see where we see altcoins versus Bitcoin kind of going in the next couple weeks to months to years. Um, there's 
and we just broke a huge support for the Bitcoin dominance, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, but I want to keep looking at this kind of triangle uh, slash falling wedge that we're in, guys. Um, our next major, and as you can see, we had multiple touches here, guys. We had one touch here, two touches, three touches on the top which confirms that resistance as actual resistance. And okay, guys know what I say. Three touches on the top and bottom that confirms the, kind of confirms the pattern. So we have three touches on the top. Now let's take a look at the support here. We have one touch, uh, two touches. Um, I don't, you guys know what I say. I like to cut off a lot of the price action that happened in March because what happened in March wasn't super artificial for the price. Um, it kind of happened in every single market. So I don't like to look at it for a technical analysis kind of point of view, because I think it kind of ruins a lot of the patterns that were playing out before the actual event that we don't speak of happened in March. So as we can see, I kind of cut through um, kind of this huge candle here, because I pretty much think this is about where we're in. We had one touch here. I actually had two touches here, one, two, uh, three, we broke uh, we broke through it, we came back up, we actually tested this as support, and we had a fourth touch here, and we got a huge bounce off of that. This is why I'm convinced that this is the pattern that we're in for XRP, um, and we're, we're, we're tightening up, guys. We're in this very, very tight range. It's gonna keep getting tighter. Eventually, we're gonna break out. I see us breaking out up. Let me know you guys think in the comment section below where we think we're going. Now let's jump right on into the Bitcoin dominance chart. It's the last chart I wanna kinda of look at. We looked at this um, in my last video, but um, obviously you can see we broke through this huge support that we had ever since 2018. Uh, we have one touch, two touch, three touch, um, and then we broke through it, and now, we're, now it's the resistance, which is very, very bearish for the Bitcoin dominance, um, which is why I'm very, very convinced that we're gonna see an alt season very, very soon. We got one touch, two touches on the top, and we came back down and we broke this huge, huge support line, which was this black line uh, for the dominance. We had support all through here and we had resistance here. Um, we go back, we had resistance here and we had um, you know, a little support back here, a little bit lower, but we had pretty much support on that line well as well. So this is, that was a huge, huge psychological barrier to break through for the Bitcoin dominance. I see alts popping off uh, pretty much until we get down um, to this about 60.6 as the next kind of big, big psychological uh, resistance mark. And then after that, uh, we don't really have anything until about 57. So we could see a three to 6% swing from a lot of the money going into Bitcoin, could be going into altcoins, about three or 6% of its market cap. That could be huge for the altcoins. So keep in mind, that this could be happening very, very soon. Um, not trading analysis, like I like to say, but just what I'm thinking for my personal portfolio. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Smack that like button down below. Also leave a comment on what you guys want to see in the next video tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't stare at the charts all day. Get outside, exercise, eat healthy, have fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.